Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to continue my tutorial on Slipstream. I'm going to show you how you can take a captured WIM and make it a bitable ISO. So let's get started. First thing we're going to have to do is we're going to take our ISO image that we have previously created and Slipstreamed all of our drivers into. And what we're going to do is we're going to extract that like we did previously with our Windows 10 image before we slipstreamed anything into it. So I've opened my Explorer and go to a new laptop backup. It's on my D drive. The image is inside a folder called VMs, Tools, ISOs. And there we have it, NT Lite May No Bloat. So I'm going to right click that and I'm going to click Mount. I'm now going to click on the mounted drive, do Control A and Control C to select everything and copy it. Then I'm going to go to my D drive. I've already created a folder called 21H1 No Bloat. I just did that by going right click New and Folder and then giving it a name. Inside here I'll paste everything that's just been copied. Okay, so now that that's copied across, what we want to do is we want to take the image that we extracted and captured earlier on, which is our WIM. As you can see, mine's called 21H1, so I want to Control C to copy that. And I'm going to copy that into the sources. And see here, there should be one called install.wim. So I want to delete that. And then I want to paste in our new WIM file. OK, now that's been done, we want to rename our 21h1.wim to install.wim after the one that we have just deleted. And then we want to open NT Lite. Say yes to user account control when it kicks in. Then we want to click Add, Image Directory and point it to our 21H1 folder. Now I'm going to cancel mine in order to save time. I already have mine loaded up here. So I'll double click that to load it fully within NT Lite in order to make any edits. Okay, now that that's import, all we actually want to do is to create an image. If you, for example, needed to load new drivers or patches at this point, in fact, I may as well do it. We can do the updates and drivers that you've seen in the previous tutorial. In this case, I'll check for the latest online updates. There probably will be some, as this was made in May and it is now June. And there we go. And it's also saying there's some external updates, so I'll select them as well. I'll click in here, then I will go down to Y. As always, I save the image and trim additions. I normally remove non essential additions, however, there's none to actually remove in this one. Image format is always going to be A1, and I'm going to create the ISO. I'm just going to create this on my D drive and I'm going to call it. June 21H1, no bloat, spelled that incorrect, but it'll work. And it's asked me to give it a label, so I'm just going to click OK. Now I'm going to click Proceed. As usual, it's giving me the warning about my firewall running. I'm just going to close that down, and we will wait for the pop up to tell us that the driver has been downloaded. And there it is. I'll just click OK. OK, our image is now created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find it on my D drive and there's here and I'm going to rename it bloat since I used the term bloat and there we go. We can now use this using something like Rufus or test it in a virtual machine, copy it to USB or whatever we would normally do with ISO in order to use it. If you like this video give it a like, if you dislike this video give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe you should do in the future then please let us know in the comments below and most of all Thank you for watching.